SARS COVID 19. COVID 19. COVID 19. COVID 19. COVID 19. Scientists here at Bristol University are some of the few who are growing the human coronavirus involved in this outbreak. You really need to start to dissect the virus on many different levels, dissect our immune response. So, the work we're doing here, or some of the work we're doing here, is going to be to start to underpin that. Colleagues in the School of Chemistry have identified some antiviral agents that may be effective against COVID. So the main aim of our research is to identify drugs that bind to and therefore block the function of proteins that are encoded by viral genes. And we have lots of really amazing researchers here at Bristol looking at the virus. With collaborations with the University of Bristol's Uncover Group, as well as Public Health England, we can look at immunity following the virus as well as secondary infections and respiratory compromise when people are recovering. It's one of the biggest questions we face right now. How long does COVID-19 stay infectious in the air? One of the big benefits of being in Bristol is that we have an expert team of virologists who've worked with coronaviruses for many years. And we are also collaborating with researchers at Oxford University who have given us access to experimental data measuring the coronavirus proteins. We discovered a new feature of SARS-CoV-2, which was entirely unexpected. It links physiology, the disease, and the virus itself. And the mutations on the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein are the ones responsible for this higher infectivity of the virus. Everybody is talking about vaccines to defeat the COVID-19 crisis, and we all are hopeful that vaccines will be the solution. So we need to try everything to get the upper hand.